Hello everyone and welcome back. I'll get to the books in a minute, but today we're on the road in northern Illinois. This was once the land of the Potawatomi tribes, the Winnebago, the Illini and Kickapoo clans, Fox and Sauk tribes. This was the travel route for Chippewa, the Delaware, the Iroquois, and Shawnee. We're following a road over this verdant land that takes us to Byron, Illinois, where the nuclear generating station billows white ominous mist from the cooling towers. This station provides a great deal of the electricity used in northern Illinois. We follow the Rock River, which is a tributary of the Mississippi and stretches almost 300 miles across the prairie. This is all predominantly farm country now, but much of the land is still wild, which visitors can see firsthand when visiting any of the many parks near Byron in Oregon or Dixon, Illinois. In 1832, Sauk leader Black Hawk organized a group to relocate in Illinois, but met with resistance from a militia. The Battle of Stillman's Run was the first in the short Black Hawk War of that year. In 1910, artist Laredo Taft created a native statue that has since become known as the Chief Black Hawk Statue, although that was not his original intention. The statue still stands overlooking the Rock River in Loudoun State Park. The statue stands over 50 feet and weighs at least 100 tons. The Black Hawk statue is truly an imposing, if not haunting, sight. There is a majesty to the features. The dark water and thick forested land is home to numerous parks, hiking trails, and hideaways. I have a long personal history in this area and many tales I might tell, and perhaps one day I will. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching that, uh, that footage that I shot at the Black Hawk statue out there in Oregon, Illinois, and I wanted to get a book involved in that episode as well. So I started reading uh, Black Hawk, The Battle for the Heart of America by Carrie A. Trask. This is a really good book. Um, that's about where I'm at with it. And um, I, I'm fascinated by frontier history. American history it is really just incredible to look at. There's a lot of history here in Illinois, which incidentally, I'm sure you know, is the birthplace of Wyatt Earp and Wild Bill Hickok. Uh, anyway, um, Black Hawk and the Black Hawk Wars. This is a fascinating character in history. It's a tragic tale. Very well written. My only complaint with this uh, book that I picked up is that there are no illustrations except for a map of Illinois. I don't need another map of Illinois. Uh, I know where the events took place. We were just there. You just watched the video. Part of the events took place there, at you know that region. Um, but they could have had some uh, reproductions of some of the paintings of the time and so forth. This is one of them on the cover. This is what uh, Chief Blackhawk looked like. Um, and I just wanted to give a plug to this book if you're interested in that regional history or American history, this is a really good book. If you like these nonfiction frontier and Western um, recommendations that I'm making, please use the comment section below and let me know. I have a couple of others that I'm looking at right now I may do episodes on. I'd like to know if you find this interesting rather than the usual pulp stuff. I love reading nonfiction history of the frontier and American history from the colonials through, you know, through the... Uh, early part of uh, the last century, and so forth. So anyways, Black Hawk, The Battle for the Heart of America by Carrie A. Trask. Highly recommended. Stay well, everyone. Just down the road, traveling south, is Castle Rock State Park. It's here on Route 2 that you'll find an overlook. It requires some work, but if you make your way to the top, you'll have a great view of the Rock River. Muddy, but steady. Long ago, the fur traders and frontiersmen traveled these currents, and these deep woodlands have yet to give up their secrets.